what you just heard is Birdman at a prison and you know he's basically saying he got the power to make make change when people say they need books he said you think you're gonna get help from a book now shout out to Birdman like I said he the legend in the game incredible but I gotta I gotta disagree with you on this one this one Birdman let's be honest you know what they say if you want to keep something from a ninja you put it in a book because we don't read we don't want to read and what we don't understand as people is that the key to life the key to being successful in life to having a happier life is to pick up a book this is why they're there but as black people we're taught oh man you ain't got to read man what, what you got to do read a book for and a lot of times these brothers they sitting in jail all day they don't have nothing to do a lot of times they don't have work workout equipment and you know they're asking for necessities yeah i get that but Birdman, if these brothers start reading that changes people's whole lives i can give you a couple examples of people who read books a lot malcolm x martin luther king fred hampton y'all love don king don king uh, read shakespeare that's how don king was such a slick talker with the boxers and able to be one of the most powerful people in boxing of all time is because he, he could speak well from reading some of the most famous people of all time was avid readers napoleon abraham lincoln even marcus aurelius who people still read his works to this day and he was alive what two thousand years ago to me what i heard was like belly y'all remember watching belly when Nas asked DMX, what was the last time you read a book? And he said, never. You know, y'all know the rest. But he said, never. And then after a while, DMX started reading. And towards the end of the movie, you could tell that his life was changing over. That's the power of reading. Even Obama, I'll give you an example. People love Obama. Obama, they dog. Obama, the best president of all time. But look how much Obama read. Here we have a brother that went to Columbia Law School for their bachelor's. And went to Harvard for their law degree. So, I mean, I, I don't understand it. This is such a, it, our community is such an oxymoron. We won't change, but we don't want to read the information that's there. Here's a list of a couple of books that have changed most people's lives. As a Man Think Of. And Gucci Man, the one who made that book popular. Yeah, the book came out of, what, 1900? But Gucci Man talked about, he read that book in jail. That's one of the most important books that changed his life. You got the $40 of power that all the rappers used to talk about. Rich Dad, Poor Dad, Atomic Habits. How to Win Friends and Influence People by Dale Carnegie. Growth Mindset. And these are just a sample of books that have changed people's lives. But that's the problem in our community. We don't value education. And one thing that we were taught is that you don't have to read after you finish school. But no, you have to keep constantly reading. Constantly learning. Jim Ron said this years ago. Work hard on yourself, you'll make a living. Work hard on yourself and make a fortune. How are you going to work hard on yourself if you don't read? So yeah, Birdman, I'm sure there is other things you can do. But no, man, these brothers read, need to read books. And honestly, those are the most affordable things you can give somebody. You can give somebody a pair of Jordans. You can give somebody a Gucci bag, a Louis bag, or whatever. You know, designer shoes, whatever you want to buy somebody. Giving somebody a $20 book from Barnes & Noble or wherever you get your books from can literally change somebody's life. But I just want to get my quick thoughts about it. Tell me what y'all think.